Hello and welcome to News Click. A special hospital set up for the Bhopal victim is facing crisis today. To know more about the issue, we have with us Jay Prakash, who is Joint Secretary of Delhi Science Forum and has been working on this issue since last three decades. Welcome to News Click, sir. So this hospital, first of all, why was it set up and who had set it up? So you must know some background of the tragedy. See, the, the Bhopal disaster took place on the night of 2nd, 3rd December 1984. At that time, and uh, about <coughs> nearly six lakh people were exposed to the toxic gases. And the, at that time, the hospital facilities in Bhopal were so inadequate to treat this uh, huge amount of uh, huge, num huge number of gas victims. Uh, and initially, a, a lot of voluntary organizations came in to provide uh, healthcare facilities to gas victims. One of it was the Janswasth Kendra. And uh, subsequently, our demand <coughs> on the government of India and the state government was to uh, set up more facilities for treating gas victims. Because nothing happened, in, in August 1985, we filed a petition before the Supreme Court. And since the, the matter, we've been highlighting the need for <coughs> uh, setting up better hospital facilities and giving better treatment to gas victims. And this, this was going on and on. And, and then finally, because nothing was moving, we filed a petition again in January 1988, uh, bringing to attention of the court that, you know, there's still inadequate facilities, etc. It is after that the Bhopal Memorial Hospital was set up. You know? Because uh, one of the <clears throat> conditions in 1991, the courts also directed Union Carbide Corporation to fund the setting up of a hospital for treating gas victims. So the, the fund that is coming from com is coming from the Union Carbide? The Union Carbide did not pay a pie. What happened was their assets in India were sold off because of non-appearance in the criminal case. See? Uh, the, uh, their assets were attached and the Supreme Court permitted the sale of the attached properties of Union Carbide. The uh, uh, nearly 300 crores were uh, raised on that basis, and 60 crores were <coughs> spent on building this hospital. At that time, this was in 1998, mm -hmm. start the hospital. So it came up in 2000. It was a 350-bed hospital, and it at, in 2000, it was the best hospital in Bhopal. You know best equipped and best uh, uh, super specialty hospital in Bhopal. So what actually has happened that it, this, the situation has come to this and uh, what is the severe crisis? No, no. See, this? what happened was in, in 2010, we were not satisfied the, with the method, uh, uh, the administration and, uh, which was uh, uh, in place in BMHRZ at that time. So we said, you know, we were demanding that the government of India take over the hospital and run it. And in 2010, Chief Justice, you know, who was uh, head of the uh, trust, uh, voluntarily relinquished office and handed over the trust to the government of India. One of our complaints was in 2010 was, you know, as it, a lot of private patients are getting to. So it became so scandalous because these private patients were given private and non gas victims were given priority in treatment in, in BMHRC at the <laughs> expense of uh, gas victims. We said this is ridiculous, it cannot happen no? because we are not opposed to private patients getting treatment but the priority should uh, be gas victims. Be gas victims. And in 2010 after it was taken over by the government of India, less emphasis on uh, private. Uh, private patients started. And one of the demands was also uh, recruitment rules. No? See, because when it became uh, under the government of India, the, a lot of uh, specialists left the hospital and went elsewhere because their income from private patients started decreasing. Uh, decreasing. So one of our demands was that the hospital becomes a teaching hospital so that it can attract the best talent in the country. You know, because a lot of uh, people who are not uh, doctors were not actually uh, interested in making money. But they're interested in teaching and, and, and uh, the com more commitment to their profession. profession yeah. So we've been repeatedly demanding that 
you know, the CHS rules, that's the Central Health Services rules, recruitment rules be applied to BMHRC also. It started deteriorating when the government of India proposed setting up a separate AIMS, or Indian Institute of Medical Sciences, and, and a unit in Bhopal. Okay. See, one of the, uh, they had uh, six AIMS being set up in various parts of the country, and one of it was in Bhopal. So they started giving preference to AIMS. Yes. You see? And uh, th that's one of the reasons that they didn't want to <coughs> um, uh, apply the same CHS rules to BMHRC. And because of this uh, lack of proper rules, many of the doctors were, uh, didn't know what would happen to the careers. So they started, to, uh, many of the senior uh, consultants started leaving the hospital and going elsewhere. And, and they were forced to shut down many of the departments, you know. And m many of other departments were running at less than 50% of the faculty strength. You know. The other crisis was when the government of India took over the uh, thing. The, 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 the hospital had a lot of uh, costly medical equipments, you know. And they, they were under annual maintenance contracts from various companies. These contracts were not renewed, you know. So over a period of time, many of the uh, costly equipments broke down and they were not replaced, and many outdated equipments were not, never replaced. So many of the committed doctors are also fa faced a lot of problems in carrying out the treatment process. And, and then, for example, shortage of anesthetists because of which departments could not carry out various surgery. surgical processes. So instead of carrying out um, uh, surgeries five days a week, it came down to one or two days a week. You know? And the quality of treatment which was being given to the started deteriorating. And the monitoring committee, monitoring committee is a committee which was set up by the Supreme Court to monitor the conditions in the hospital set up specially for gas victims. It is headed by a formal uh, judge of the uh, High Court, Madhya Pradesh High Court, Justice Agarwal. And this committee has been monitoring and sending out <coughs> regular reports, pointing out to the deficiencies both in the gas relief hospitals as well as the hospital uh, uh, and units run by the Bhopal Memorial Hospital. You see? And, and none of the recommendations were ever implemented. So the crisis has been building up over a period of years and, and the government of India is fully aware. You know? So we suspect that there was vested interest in allowing this hospital to... Um, Reach to this uh, stage. Yeah, yeah, because uh, they were really not interested in taking prob uh, uh, steps to ensure that it remains the best hospital in Bhopal. So yeah. what are those yeah. vested interests? I mean, why did the government of India no, we suspect there is an attempt to privatize the hospital. You know? Because of the funds available? Yeah, because the, the, the funds, yeah, the BMHRC has uh, about 700 crores, you know, because after the initial um, 300 crores, you know, over the last uh, 17 years, uh, interest and various other, um, because, because the, the, that core fund has increased and that money is lying in there. So it's not a question of shortage of funds. You know. It is sheer mismanagement, primarily because of we, uh, the, the main culprit is the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And AIMS also was set up through the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. You see. see, how is it that there is enough resources for uh, ensuring that uh, AIMS is coming, I mean, um, uh, is being set up, but no attention is and, being paid there. No, no, and, and many of the doctors working in BMSRC have been, been recruited by AIMS, you know, in AIMS Bhopal. You know. So, it, otherwise, it, it can be part of uh, AIMS, you know, there's nothing uh, so preventing what, what are the other solutions that you think can lead to rejuvenating the entire hospital and keeping it intact? Recruitment policy is the, is the key issue. You see. So we said it should be CH, uh, Central Health Services recruitment policy so that it attracts the best talent in the country. Okay. It should be on par with the facilities and the 
uh, uh, standard uh, which exists in AIMS and uh, such premier institutions. Then. See, why is it a hospital which was the best in Bhopal in 2000 is facing this crisis today? See, a number of other private hospitals have come, in, come up in Bhopal after that. You know. The other thing you should notice, as I pointed out, there in 5 lakh 73,000 victims, you know. And out of, we, have, we have come to know that out of this, at least 1 lakh 70,000 people, as victims, are going to ho these hospitals on a regular basis. See? That means there are at least 1 lakh 70,000 permanently injured gas victims who need serious treatment, you know. On a regular basis. On a regular basis. See? So, and this this aspect is being concealed, you know, you know? And, and, and there is no protocol in place for treating these gas victims, you know, As, you know, it's, it's all symptomatic treatment, you know, that is why we've been demanding that they must be proper record keeping and monitoring of the health of these gas victims, you know, that is not happening. Because the health records in a, such a bad shape, because they want to conceal the magnitude of the problem. See? Otherwise, why should it take 17 years to set up a uh, computerized uh, records keeping system? You know, why is it not in place the last 17 years? So that's all the time we have for today. And as these things proceed, we'll be coming back to you to discuss such things. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching News Click.